it's Mr. Young. Today's video is about cardio, which is short for cardiovascular endurance. All right, let's get down to business. This video is a shout out to the students at Hamilton and the School of the Arts One. All right, students. So today we're talking about cardio. So cardio means heart, vascular. That means lungs and veins and arteries. So today's exercise video, we're going to target our heart. I'm going outside. It's a beautiful day. I will check back with you. I almost forgot. If we're gonna target our heart, we gotta figure out how hard is our body working when we're just relaxing. So first, maybe a brother or sister, maybe your dog. Wait, dogs can't count, can they? No, all right. Uh, you could use a timer or a clock, but we're gonna have a 10 second timing or have someone count for you. And while they're doing that, what you wanna do is put your hand under your neck or on your heart and you're gonna count the beats. The beat of your body is your pulse. And like a song, when you move and the song gets faster, your heart beats faster. So on my walk, I'm gonna target my heart rate, but first I'm gonna count for 10 seconds. So Otter, ready, set, count for me. All right, after 10 seconds, some quick math. I take my number, which was 11, times six, some multiplication. If you need help, ask mom or dad at home. But for me, 11 times six is 66 beats. So now when I go outside and I ride my bike doing my cardio, or I walk, which is what I'm going to do, I'm gonna stop after a while and measure my heart again to figure out how that movement changes the beat of my body. That walk felt great. I went for 30 minutes, and after the 30 minute walk, I counted the beats. I had 13 beats in the 10 seconds. Now, for those of you that didn't know, there are 60 seconds in one minute. So 10 goes into 60 six times. That's why I'm multiplying by six. When you hear about pulse or heart rate, usually, your PE teacher or your doctor is talking about beats per, per minute. So to figure out beats per minute, I multiply by six. So some quick math, and I understand this math might be hard for you to do at home. That is okay. We have calculators. So remember, we're multiplying or timesing. So you could also ask an older brother or sister if you don't have a calculator or ask mom and dad when they come home. Just write down your numbers. So for me, after our 30 minute walk with Otter and Gus, my heart was beating 78 times per minute. Wow, that's a, quite a bit, but it's not a lot. Remember, I was at 66 earlier when I was just relaxing. So if I'm targeting my heart and doing different exercises such as cardio, think back to that word cardio, I'm targeting my heart. I could also bike, I could hike, I could go for a run, I could roller skate, I could scooter. Any of those activities would be cardio, swimming even. So try to think of a day that you could target your heart. I'm gonna to continue to upload videos such as this. I'm gonna give different shout outs to those students at the different schools that I go to. So stay tuned later in the week.
for a new fitness activity to incorporate into your routine at home.